connecting Dilma and single origin Ceylon tea with luxury and with pampering like you have with, with high tea was the logical next step. We are very much in the vanguard of a trend, a trend that at the moment is restricted to the cup, but one that this challenge is about taking it beyond onto the plate and so on. So it is absolutely important that there is a new generation of chefs and uh, hospitality people who understand and respect tea. We're coming up with ideas for cocktails and mocktails using tea. It was something very uh, challenging. I love high tea. It's what I do at work. It's my favourite thing. Always nice to bring back old stuff with a modern twist, so yeah, I'm all for it. We were pretty nervous beforehand, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was. You said you were. I know I said that. <laughs> Lovely nose on that. It was really beautiful um, aroma. Give the uh, tea a little bit more time to brew and stir it a bit more, and you get more body to your drink. This particular drink, I could really you still get the yeah. original tea, and that, that's yeah. that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yes, beautiful, elegant, simple, plain. Everything was covered. You covered what you needed to do, and you covered it well. Thank you. This is tea and scones without um, without actually drinking the tea. Tea and gastronomy in a, a sweet interpretation. I want to thank all of you present here and all the Australians. In a special way, I want to thank those who tried it. Those who didn't, I would say, do try it. Thank you. <laughs>